Hello and greetings from Iceland. It was my plan to start the week with some uh, tourist related content, but that is what I do while uh, nature gives me sometimes few days break. And on Monday, I learned about this unusual earthquake swarm close to Reykjavik. And the location turned out to be quite interesting. And uh, already on my list of places where I need to get some more footage from, but I do have enough to take you on a short journey with a map, like I tend to do when the earthquake map of Iceland starts to lit up like a Christmas tree on steroids. And the earthquake location now is just so very, very close to our capital. Or as you can see on this map, where we have the complete Reykjanes Peninsula in front of us, and I am zooming down to the new earthquake location, and there we have a nice crater. But the crater is only a part of the story. This earthquake swarm might have something to do with the nearby earthquake region, or the place just west of the earthquake swarm. That mountain is called Heidenhá. It is a shield volcano. And what makes it special is that every 50 years or so, Reykjavík gets hit by a big earthquake, up to 6.5 in magnitude, coming from there. And the last earthquake was in 1968, so it is overdue. And before the ongoing eruption started, this earthquake threat was frequently mentioned by scientists in the media, but way less lately or until last Monday. So all unusual movements in this area are almost automatically a media topic during those hectic times here in Iceland. And the old crater where the earthquakes are now, even if it was looking a bit innocent from aerial view, I am going to move the camera angle behind the power station north of it, like you can see on the map, just a few kilometers away. And when we look at the earthquake zone from there, we can see yet another volcano shield formation. So this is yet another shield volcano with deep roots, or the one that is showing seismic activity now. And shield volcanoes are all over the place here. You can also see the highway here, and this is a highway that is connecting Reykjavík to South Iceland, Iceland's highway number one. And we already know that the South Coast Road, few kilometers south of this highway, that one will close in only days or weeks. So it would not be good to lose uh, this one as well, if the volcanoes on Hetlseidi are up to something. But even so, if the South Coast Road and this road would come to an uh, red end, we have other possibilities via Lake Thingvalla, the National Park. But let's move back to the power station, since this is an earthquake tour. And this power station is pretty special in that way that it uh, captures around 50 metric tons of carbon dioxide every year and they inject it back to the ground. So this is uh, an experimental project, quite interesting. But the side effect is uh, man-made earthquakes around the power station that you should be aware of if you are doing your own research through the extensive net of seismometers that are located around there, available online. And especially since just south of the power station, we have this new earthquake spot where we see frequent earthquakes, and scientists have not been able to explain it to us. But in this photo, we are on the mountain just above the power station, overlooking the power lines to Reykjavik. And that strange new earthquake spot is just around the bottom left corner of this photo. No craters there, just a lava field. So it's not just this uh, nearby volcano that has been uh, showing us some uh, strange uh, earthquake activity lately. But the volcano is called uh, Leitin. And on this photo, you can see the lava from it, but the craters are just to the left of this frame. And Reykjavik is in the upper left corner. So yes, I do need my own drone to do footage like this. And that will come. But the oldest part of this lava is around 5,000 years old. But there are two younger lava fields on top of it. And in total, this is an astonishing quantity of lava there. And not only did it flow at the city, a narrow lava tank managed to go through the city, or should we say where the city is now, and all the way down to the sea, like you can see on this picture here. But before the lava went through the city land, there was this lake there called Edlava. And when the lava came crawling down there, over the wetlands and into the lake, 
there were some steam explosions creating pseudo craters on a location what we call Rathollar or Red Hills. Sadly, many of those formations were removed during the years when Iceland was occupied. So this was used to build the airport in Reykjavik, some of the red gravel. And many of us regret it now because those formations are totally unique on a world scale. They are so unique that I've been reading that formations of this kind can only be seen here just by Reykjavik and on the planet Mars. And that does actually explain a lot because perhaps it wasn't our uncles from Norway that uh, picked this uh, unfortunate location under our capital. Maybe it was just some idiots from a planet Mars who found out that uh, they just felt like home here. And from this place, the lava kept on moving through the valley at Latalus. And in that valley, we still today do not build houses. And it is a recreation area today with a salmon river. Perhaps the only salmon river in the world that is uh, midst in the city. And we are now midst over the city. And we are looking back from where we came from. And uh, notice a lake. That is where the explosions occurred. And behind the lake, we can see clearly this uh, shield volcano formation. I'm also sure that the Martians loved it. It should remind them of uh, spaceships. And uh, what a place to build a city is uh, something that I will probably see in my comment section after this video. I've heard that before, so blame it on the Martians. And uh, this lava shield formation is not from the volcano where the earthquakes are now. That lava stream is uh, to the left of it. Or as I said, we just have plenty of them. So I'm going to move up there up to the volcano shield and end the camera back to the city and this is how it looks from above the city and I remember very well when I was uh, doing those shots like uh, I think it's 10-15 years ago and by then I was wondering why we don't speak so much about the city surroundings because this is something that uh, kids should uh, learn early on in school not to scare them but more to teach them how to respect the land and minimize the shock when and if something happens. But anyway, the lava from the earthquake zone that started to bother us last Monday, it took also off down to the sea on the south coast. And those monsters just crawl over anything and anything. So we are going down there to the south coast and face north. And from here we have a better view over the shield formation. But the camera is pointed at the, the mountain Heidenhau, the biggest lava volume on the peninsula and the place from where you can see this uh, like waterfall formation where the lava came flowing down from the mountain. The same mountain where the big earthquakes come from. And there are just so many volcano shields around the capital and they are sliding over each other so it's hard to notice some of them. And I admit that I did not pay that much attention to those uh, formations before the ongoing eruption. To me it was just uh, ancient kind of uh, volcano formation that my generation and the coming generations would uh, most likely never see in the making again. So to see what is coming to life on the peninsula is in a way like to go in the Louvre Museum in uh, France and to find uh, Mona Lisa working in the ticket office. And uh, during my last tours around the peninsula, I felt it so well that I would never look at this region in the same way, nor would I ever shoot photos and videos the same way, especially in regards of the shield volcanoes. And then we have to keep in mind that this new seismic activity is not going on in the same volcano system where the eruption is taking place now. That activity is within the sulfur mountain system, as you call it. That system is in control of the volcano shield that we were just looking at, the big one. And there is one volcano belt between the sulfur mountain system and the system where we have the eruption now. And that is the Krisvik volcano system. And when we go back to the power plant, there is yet another volcano system, but a bit different. The mountain by the power plant is called Hengill. And there we have some of the most powerful geothermal field in Iceland. And at the other side of Hengill, we have another power station. So we are now going up to Lake Tingatla 
and we can see Mount Hengil from there. And uh, by Lake Thingolrat, we find what many refer to as uh, the holiest of all holy places in Iceland, or where the first uh, parliamentary proceedings took place, the summer of the year 930, or where we laid ground for our common cultural heritage. Maybe if you tell me the bad news in a good way, it won't sound so bad. But I'm only going to use Thingvellir today to show you Mount Hengill. This place deserves uh, more time than I have today. And Hengill is over 800 meters high, and the magma under there is at very shallow depth. And it is a place where the city gets uh, most of its hot water and energy. And the last eruption in Hengill occurred around 2000 years ago. But since then, Hengill has been uh, naughty. He has been showing signs of unrest, and this mountain is uh, very much alive and a worthy subject for coming videos. And uh, when I'm making videos of this kind, I sometimes don't know where to stop, because in this case, I could go on for hours just about the region around our capital. But I am, however, going to uh, draw the line here today, because uh, first and foremost, I wanted to uh, answer some questions I've been getting, since I know that uh, many of my viewers are uh, looking very closely at all earthquake activity around the capital and on the peninsula. So this is just my way to bring you closer. And in my next overview for this uh, region, I will have a new set of uh, photos and videos in the quality that I want, shot from the angles that I didn't think about a few months ago. But uh, it's been on hold for a few days now. It's just uh, way too good weather here up in the north now. Way too good to uh, visit the so-called uh, summer in Reykjavik. And with that, I'm sending you best regards from the Volcano Island, Iceland.